Today we're going to be testing output on cobalt 24 volt batteries. We're going to go from the 2 amp hour all the way up to the 8 amp hour battery and we're going to give you an idea as to what battery has the most output and we're going to test that by looking at the voltage that it will hold while connected up to this drill in two different scenarios. The one that holds the higher voltage obviously has the higher amp output and then we can apply that to larger tools like circular saws or anything else that we're going to use in the field to decide what is the lightest battery we can use with the best performance. This is very simple. The, we're going to call these out by the different amp hour batteries. Obviously we have the 4 amp hour extended run and the 4 4 amp hour ultimate battery, but realistically what it matters inside here is not the amp hour, but the amp output of the battery. We're not going to get into all that confusing stuff. You'll be able to see a little section on the screen where you'll see our voltmeter and you can see and watch that go down as we go through the wood and then we'll choose which battery is probably going to perform the best. Common sense says eight amp hour, but the reality is if you're really close with the four amp hour ultimate, why not choose the lighter battery to do the job if you're doing something overhead or for short periods of time? Let's get after this test. All right, we are connected up with our two amp hour battery on here. We are going to drill through this four by four. You can see we're at 24.64 volts. If we hit the trigger, it goes down a little bit as expected. Let's drill through and watch the voltage. So at the end, we have seen 20 or 16.75 as the low. We're not going to look at the high because that was 24.99 when we put it on. The average 24.4. That's that's just a, the average doesn't mean anything to us. But we dropped down there quite a bit, which is interesting. So let's move up to the next battery. We have the four amp hour extended run battery on here. We are currently at 24.34 fully charged. Let's take a look at how this one goes. Didn't look too bad. Our minimum 16.83. We now have the four amp hour ultimate output on. We have an initial voltage of 24.88. You see that goes down when we hit the trigger. Let's drill our hole. That was a significant difference in how high the voltage stayed, which is good to know. Obviously, the ultimate should be 19.10 as our low. We had the 8 amp hour ultimate output. We have a 24.97 on the screen. It's obviously going to go down and let's start drilling. I do not believe that went down below 22. 22.11. Round two, we have a two and three quarter inch bore bit. We're going to be on low. We have the two amp hour battery. So this is the second set that it's drilling. 24.47 on top. We are going to see that move around, obviously. So let's get to drilling. Toward the end of the hole it went down. Look how slow it's recovering at this point in time, but it is recovering. If we hit the minimum, 17.14. With the four amp hour extended run, we're at 24.32. So that's a little bit lower and its recovery time is a little less and that's after one 
hole here. So let's just drill a hole with this, see what happens. Not too bad watching it go through. If we look at the minimum, 17.76. So it's a little bit better than the two amp hour, but its recovery time is much better than the two amp hour. We are on the four amp hour ultimate output, 24.76. Not bad. Let's see how it does while we go through this hole. Not too bad. Recovery is just crazy with this. Comes right back. If we look at our minimum, 19.94. Recovery is, is amazing. Okay, we're looking at the 8 amp hour battery. We have 24.96 up there. Obviously, recovery on this is amazing. It just comes right back. Pretty sweet. Let's go through this hole and see what it does. Even here, it looks like it still stayed in the 22s. We look at the minimum, 22.45. Pretty amazing, and its recovery is spot on. This is very interesting in my opinion, because I've never really heard great things about the two amp hour cobalt or the lower amp hour cobalt batteries. But beyond that, even when we do these tests with DeWalt and Milwaukee batteries, the small compact batteries really, really suck it compared to the 2P 4 amp hour batteries. But if we look here, test one, 2 amp hour battery minimum was 16.75, 4 amp hour minimum was 16.83. That's really close. So if you're using a impact driver, you're using a drill, or if you're using some of the smaller tools out there, you can use that 2 amp hour battery and you're not going to see any power loss due to voltage drop and that's pretty sweet now with that said these numbers are because of the 24 volt system are a little bit higher than the 18 volt system that both dewalt and milwaukee use yes dewalt's 20 volt max is 18 volts but with that said same thing with this 24 volt max we will we'll get into that in another video but with that said it's pretty impressive, especially when you get into the low range, 17.14 and 17.6. Now, that's just a bigger bit. Obviously, it's not as much pressure on the battery, but with that said, it's still holding close with that power draw. Those two batteries were very close, which leads me to this four amp hour battery comes with a lot of the kits. That's great, and it's wonderful. It's gonna give you more runtime than the two amp hour battery, and I actually appreciate that they put that in many of the kits, because who needs a bunch of two amp hour batteries? They're more of a specialty, lightweight, overhead use. This four amp hour is pretty good, but not really good. So if you're gonna upgrade or buy more batteries, or you see some on sale, definitely try not to buy more of these four amp hour extended runtimes, because look at the difference once we just hop up. 4 amp hour ultimate, instead of dropping to 16.83, dropped to 19.1. That's huge. And we go to this test down here, we went from 17.76 to 19.94. Big, absolutely big. So if you're going to invest in more batteries and you can find them on sale at a good deal, the ultimates are 100% the way to go and they will give you much more power due to less voltage drop on any tool. Now if you equate that over to a circ saw, a circular saw is going to drop the voltage much more. So huge, if you're going to run a 4 amp hour battery on anything large, it's got to be the ultimate. Now to go a step further, the 8 amp hour battery as you would expect, I mean look at the size difference between these two. 
8 amp hour battery had an initial drop to 22.11. I mean, look at that. We're not talking about much, less than 3 volt drop. Then here, 22.45, that's a 2.5 volt drop. Amazing. So again, we're on a drill, smaller tool. If you're going to use a circ saw or you're going to do anything like that and you want to keep the power up or you want to get the most power out of your tool, not because of the amp hour, but because of the voltage drop that you would see while putting that tool under some torque, stay with the eight amp hour battery. It's going to do a much, much better job. And beyond that, we could watch the recovery times. You could see how slow that two amp hour started to creep back up to its a normalized voltage in the four amp hour is a little faster four amp hour ultimate much faster the eight amp hour was almost instant and again this is a drill so it's smaller tools but at the same point we can't just go out and put a circ saw on a two amp hour battery that's not going to turn out very well although we'll do it for you and show you again on this stuff but i think a drill is a great item to use this on pretty stationary. We can put different pressures on it, see what's happening, and you can see the voltage output and then equate that out to the tool that you're using and decide what battery is going to be best for you. Now here, if you're using an impact, obviously any sort of impact, if it's going to be an impact wrench or an impact driver and you're really going to be pushing that, this four amp hour ultimate is going to be a huge deal for that tool because that power drop is not going to be there. I mean, there's a big difference between 1683 and 1910 as far as output on a tool. Trust me on that one. Very cool test. Love to hear your comments below. I always like to do this as we go through, like we've done this with Milwaukee and DeWalt and seen the differences as we climb up. And again, we're looking at power output of the battery and using the names of the batteries as the amp hours and what they're called amp hours doesn't mean a whole lot other than runtime, but obviously, as you can see between the four amp hour extended run and the four amp hour ultimate, there is a difference in power output. And there's kind of obviously a difference in cells inside, but with that said, multiple cells, multiple cell sizes can all have different outputs. Comments below. Please give us a like on this video. We'd appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.